hello guys welcome back to my channel so guys today we will learn in this video how to set up ftp server on windows 10 operating system so guys i will show you each and everything step by step in this video how you can install and configure ftp server on your windows 10 machine but before go ahead i want to request you please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet means if you are a new user for my channel please subscribe and click on bell icon button so that you can get new videos notification so let us start now so this is my uh, windows 10 machine windows 10 operating system and uh, now i will show you how you can set up ftp server on your windows 10 machine windows 10 operating system so you have to go to run by pressing window and r button or you can search here type run and click on run type here a double p w i z of which dot cpl or you can go to control panel and then go to this option so i will show you from control panel also I'm going to close this i am going to type control so control panel will be open now you can see here the programs and features so the same window will be open now we'll click here turn windows feature on or off please wait now we have to install IIS and FTP server role means we have to enable this feature here so you have to click here in IT information service uh, sorry internet information services click on plus button click select FTP you can expand FTP services if you want you can select FTP extensibility or you can go with default option so I'm going to click here ok now it will take some time applying changes so uh, you can see now windows completed the requested changes means now windows features for FTP service is enabled so I'm going to close this and so now I'm going to open IIS here you can type IIS you can see internet information service manager so just you need to open this this is the computer name just expand this click on site this is the default site right click on site add to FTP site or oh, you can enter here the FTP site name like I'm going to enter here test test FTP physical path so for physical path I am going to create one folder here in my e drive with the name of FTP I am going to close you can browse from here the same path go to e drive and here ftp okay click 
click on next here IP address all unassigned so as we are uh, configuring FTP server on this machine and this machine IP is 10.10.5 you can check it from here go to run type cmd ip config enter you can see here this machine ip is 10.10.5 so if you are uh, trying to configuring the ftp on windows 10 machine so you need to enter that machine ip so that a user can access the ftp from ip address from the a specific IP address that we will choose here so now I have selected this start FTP site automatically there are few options for SSL, no SSL, allow SSL, require SSL so for now I am going to select here no SSL next and if you'll select anonymous authentication then user will be uh, able to access ftp without uh, credential without username and password but if you'll select basic then user if user will try to access ftp server then uh, it will prompt for enter credential like username and password so i am going to select here basic authorization type here you can select all user and MS user a specified user groups or a specified user so for now I am going to select here a specified user because I will show you uh, by selecting one user and you can you can add the users later later on if you want to provide your, SF, your FTP access so now here I'm going to select a specified user and it is asking here to user uh, enter username so you need to click on a start button and here you can see the username is SKY if in your case if it will be different then you have to enter the same name here or you can check by run lusrmgr.msc this command go to users you can see here there are uh, administrator user sky user and test user so if you want you can uh, enter the username administrator sky or test whatever uh, user is available in your uh, local user and group console means here so i am going to close here and going to enter a username sky you can provide permission give permission from here like read and write and click to finish uh, now you can see your test FTP site is available here and uh, it started FTP IP port number is 21 FTP and path is e drive FTP if you want you can expand from here go to test FTP and uh, FTP authorization you can see here the allow and user is SKY permission is read and write if you want to allow another user then just right click here or you can also add new users from here add allow rule all user a specific user so select a specific user and if you want to uh, provide access to of FTP to another user then just enter here the username like administrator test or whatever you want and uh, as per your uh, convenience you can select permissions so now we'll check 
uh, if FTP is accessible or not you can uh, check FTP browser here directory browser it's MS and DOS not in Linux go to back FTP current session if any user will be logged in on your FTP or you can say if if your FTP will be accessed by any user then it will show here the session you can say session will be uh, display here and a uh, few more things here FTP message if you want to uh, or set message like once user will visit to your FTP site then message will be uh, display to user like welcome to test FTP or any other if you want to uh, enter any other message so that if user will exit your FTP sorry FTP then uh, message will be display to user whatever you will enter here then it will display to user so for now I'm going to apply test and uh, FTP authorization as I have already shown you you can add or allow or deny user from here so let us check if FTP is accessible or not. So I'm going to open here Internet Explorer and to access FTP you need to enter here FTP colon double slash and the FTP IP that is this uh, laptop IP, this computer IP or this machine IP 10.10.10.5 if you want you can enter port number uh, or it will automatically detect it so you can see here now it's asking for username and password as i have entered username sky now i'm going to enter the password here login yes so guys you can see here you can see the message welcome to test sftp which i have entered in the uh, ftp configuration uh, setting and uh, here you are not able to see any other uh, directory so i am going to i am going to create one more direct one more folder you can say in the ftp directory under a ftp directory like testing and enter I'm going to here just refresh the page yes you can see the directory name is testing so if we'll create here and under testing folder any files then it will display there like microsoft text so once it will be display then it will show you you can see so guys uh, in this way you can set up FTP server as install and configure FTP server on your Windows 10 machine and uh, provide the uh, FTP access to your users so that they can access your SFTP and uh, download and upload the file on your sftp so guys i hope uh, this video will be really helpful for you so please request you to subscribe my channel and if this video will be really helpful for you please like and don't forget to click on bell icon so that uh, you can get new upcoming videos notification directly and uh, if you have any confusion if you have any query please leave your comment thank you bye bye